Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Stephen. So we're excited to announce today that Stephen has officially passed two years of being in treatment-free remission for CML. So what that means is I've, my PCR has continued to stay at 0% after I've been off the drug for two years. A little bit of background, I was diagnosed with CML in 2011. I was on to Cigna 800 milligrams at the beginning and eventually after eight and a half years of taking the drug, I finally stopped the drug in October of 2019. If you want to learn more about CML and living a healthy life with CML, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. The first year of being in TFR is when you really, is the most important time of, of the process. Usually within the first year, you'll know if, the, if staying off the drug will work. If the PCR is going to start rising again, it'll usually happen within the first year. So getting to the first year was the first milestone, and then you obviously getting to the second year was a second bigger, even bigger milestone. And thankfully your PCR didn't go up. Right, I, I've been very fortunate that my PCR stayed at 0% the entire two years that I've been off the drug. So that's exciting and encouraging. So according to my doctor, after hitting the two year mark, there's less than a 5% chance of the CML coming back. Yay! And, in some, <laughs> and in some ways, he says I'm essentially cured. Now, I think one of the ways that kind of helped you not experience that many side effects was stepping down from the drug. So as I said, I started at 800 milligrams and I did that for about three years. And then I went down to 400 milligrams of Tisigna, which I did for another couple of years. Eventually I got down to 150 milligrams a day for the last six months of taking the drug. And so what I think this did was it helped my body wean off of the Tisigna. Um, there are known side effects of muscle aches and, and pains and arthritis type feelings for people that have stopped the drug. But I do think that because I, I went down from dose to dose to dose over time that it helped my body get used to not having as much of the drug in me so that when I stopped, it wasn't as big a deal. Now, so talk to us a little bit about what the monitoring process is once you get off of your TKAI. Prior to stopping my drug, I was getting tested PCRs every six months. Once I stopped taking the drug, I had for the first year, I had to get PCRs every six to eight weeks, roughly about every two months. And then in the second year, I had PCRs every three to four months. So a lot more testing than one would be used to in the la back half of taking their drugs, but it's important to be able to catch a rising PCR sooner rather than later. And the two month kind of window helps with that, checking for that. And so now that you've been two years in treatment-free remission, how often do you need to get your blood tests? So now I'm going to get my blood tested every six months with a PCR, so twice a year. And I would stay in that situation basically in perpetuity and for the rest of my life. I think part of the reason why you've been successful in, number one, reaching TFR and secondly, in remaining in TFR is your healthy lifestyle. So we believe in following the four pillars of health, H for headspace, E for eating, A for activity, and L for lifestyle, which is also HEAL in the name of our channel. So it's important to like practice healthy habits in all four of these pillars every day. Now I realize, you, you know, maybe you don't have all of them when you're first diagnosed, but you know, over time, try to try to find ways to do all four of these. While I was on treatment, and when, even when I stopped treatment, I focused on all four of those pillars every day. So for headspace, you know, I made sure to, to stay calm, be relaxed, and find activities that help me, you know, be positive de and de-stress. Mm -hmm. For eating, I continued to eat healthy while on treatment, and also after I had stopped treatment. Just because I was done taking my drugs didn't mean I could suddenly go start my bad habits again of eating, you know, not so good food for me. A, for activity, I considered exercising both, you know, during treatment and then similarly after treatment, you know, no difference. And then lifestyle, again, I didn't change anything where I, I made sure to get good sleep, I didn't smoke, didn't really drink much. So I'm kind of, kind of maintaining that healthy lifestyle after treatment is what's helped me in my mind, I believe, stay at 0%. All right. And we want to thank you, our viewers, so much in helping us 
be successful in our journey. Thank you for watching today. We're Amy and Steven from the Heal Every Day Together channel. Together, Together we heal. heal.